Hello, my name is Bilal Cesar, and I work for International Agricultural Training Center affiliated with the Minister of Agriculture and Forestry in Turkey. Within this is my project today. What I would like to talk to you about cycles of a living planet and four elements dynamics. This presentation will consist of two parts. In the first part, I'll touch upon the historical concept of the four elements and its relations with modern science. We will also talk about the water and carbon cycle, the human impact on these cycles, and what actions can be taken as a result of a possible change in the mentality. As you know, it was previously assumed that all matter in the world consisted of four or five elements or their blocks. According to the Western history, the theory of four elements almost dates back to 5th century before Christ and it was the first known attempt to explain life. Ancient philosophers believed that four elements consisting of fire, air, water and earth was the building blocks of all substances. Actually. Older ideas on elements from China and India are pretty much similar, or even more comprehensive than four elements theory, since they also add creative power or metal as fifth element. Although the modern chemistry's proven explanation of elements is pretty much different from the initial theories from West and East, since it was still the respectable approach as an intellectual effort to interpret nature, with limited scientific knowledge. However, as science has developed and evolved, our traditional ideas about the elements and their dynamic movements have changed considerably. According to the latest point reached by science, the main cycles in ecosystems consist of the dynamic movements of four elements, water, carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus. Surprisingly, the traditional four element theory and modern ecosystem cycles are closely related. The water cycle is one of the ecosystem cycles explained by positive science, as in the traditional four element theory. Fire is the main factor that starts the carbon cycle. Air and soil serve as pools in all ecosystem cycles. As you can see, early studies of the elements still provide fairly sophisticated information, even without sufficient objective evidence. Water cycle illustrates how water is constantly moving both inside the Earth and in the atmosphere. It is an intricate system with numerous interconnected processes. Water vapor is created when liquid water evaporates, condenses to form clouds, then precipitates back to earth as rain and snow. Thus, the water cycle consists of four primary phases, condensation, precipitation, convection, and the collection. When water in lakes, river, or the ocean is heated by the sun, it evaporates and turns into steam or vapor. The global water cycle is greatly impacted by human activity. A significant quantity of water is removed from river systems through the construction of dams and irrigation projects. Global warming is a result of greenhouse gas emissions, which also alters global rainfall and evaporation patterns. However, due to a lack of available data, flaws in scientific models and significant uncertainty in climate change estimates, it is still challenging to assess current and future consequences on the global water cycles. How does the carbon cycle work? The fundamental component of all life on Earth is carbon. There is exactly the same amount of carbon on Earth now as there has ever been. Carbon is used to create essential components like DNA, and protein when native life is born. It is also present in our atmosphere as CO2 or carbon dioxide. The carbon cycle 
is the natural process by which carbon atoms are recycled. They enter earthly creatures from the atmosphere and return to the atmosphere again and again. The ocean, atmosphere and living things all contain carbon, but rocks and sediments contain the majority of it. These are the carbon cycle sinks or reservoirs. The ocean is a massive carbon sink absorbing carbon dioxide. Through their natural process of living and dying, marine species such as fish, seaweed, birds and marsh plants also produce carbon. Fossil fuels can be formed from the dead creatures over millions of years. Significant volumes of carbon dioxide are discharged back into the environment when people burn these fuels for energy. In addition, Significant amounts of carbon are released into the atmosphere by using limestone to produce concrete and by changing the usage of land. The excess carbon dioxide disrupts the planet's ecosystems, raises global temperatures and causes ocean acidification. So, what should we do to reduce or eliminate human impact on natural carbon cycle? How can we change our mindset? We need to change our mentality and realize that we are part of nature, not its masters. As a result of the changing mentality, the references that we motivate our actions will change. At this point, the most prominent behavior that needs to change is our consumption habits. Here, I can list what we should do as a result of changing mindset. For example, we can create better balance in the carbon cycle by developing and switching to renewable energy sources, choosing recyclable or reused goods made from bio-based or renewable materials that last a long time, a balanced diet and eating less meat, creating more green areas and spend more effort for afforestation. A change in mentality that may seem insignificant at the individual level can lead incredible transformation when it reaches the community level. Dear audiences, to get more information about this is my findings and outcomes, please visit the project's website, which domain name is written on the screen. Please do not hesitate to ask any question by email as well. Thank you for listening carefully. Let's sum it up. Humans have felt the need to observe and explain important elements in the world and their dynamic movements throughout history. Today's ecosystem cycles and the historical four element theory bear serious similarities and the negative intervention of artificial anthropogenic effects in the natural ecosystem cycles of the earth disrupts the natural balance in the world.